Hey guys, Todd here. So today I am going to set up an Amazon Dot and Amazon Echo Plus, and let's see, my gonna customize my Firebox, and in order to do all that, I need to install an application on my phone. So uh, the application is for the Amazon Alexa app. So I'm going to go into the App Store here. If I can hit it, there we go. And it's gonna bring things up, and I can search on it, but it comes right up, it trending, it just says Alexa app. But anyhow, let me just run a search here, A-L-E-X-A, and we'll run a search on that. And what we're looking for is right here, the Alexa app, which, like I say, it just come up, but when you're doing this, it might not be the first thing that pops up. So we will hit the little cloud here, and it is downloading, so you can see that by the little symbol there. Give it a minute to download here. So I actually had this installed before and I deleted it just to show this app here. So when it comes up, it may have some configuration that yours does. And I'm hoping that when it blew, blew it away, it blew everything away, but okay, ready to open. We'll tap open. And it wants me to log in. So I am going to go ahead and step away while I log in here real quick with my information, just because I do need to keep that a little bit private and I will be right back. Okay, trying this again. This is like attempt number eight. And we finally got in. And if you hear squeaking in the background, that's my dog playing. So I was having issues. First, I was trying to log in with the wrong account. I was trying to do my iTunes instead of my Amazon account. And finally, I got this right. And then I was having problems with the challenge password. So get started. Yes, that's me. Um, I don't want them to have permissions to everything. And I don't want notifications from them. Okay, so now I can make calls and stuff like that from everything. Your Amazon Echo Dot is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. Okay, and with that, we will go to our Alexa app here. So it go back in and it takes us to our home screen. So this is what you would normally come into when you first install it. Click on the upper left hand. Do that over again you see right at my thumb there there's like the three lines that's the menu bar you click on that and you come down to settings if i can get it there you go settings and i have quite a few things installed here but this i have an echo dot upstairs that's online this is my second echo dot so i'm gonna click on that one and i will click on update wi-fi and click down here, connect to Wi-Fi. And yes, the orange light is going around. And now it's telling me to go into my settings, and that's what the button looks like on the iPhone, to go into the settings and set the Wi-Fi to Amazon with a number. So let me click the home button here. And there's settings, so we'll click that. And where it says Wi-Fi, we'll click on that. And we should, there it is, Amazon FN8 is what we want. So we will click on that, and that comes up, and in a minute, up at the top, we'll see the, and I just heard it connect. Connected to Echo Dot. Go ahead and finish the setup in your Alexa app. So hit your home button, and go back to the Alexa app, and it says that we are connected. So now we hit continue. House number three is my Wi-Fi network here, so I will just click on that. And it says it will take a few minutes. Okay, so we are complete. Click continue. And at that point, we're back to home. If you notice, the light on the Alexa went out. Well, it heard me say her name. So anytime you say her name, she's going to come up. So you can say, Alexa, play 80s music. 
Here's a station for 80s music, all 80s, from Amazon Music. Alexa, radio off. And you can see it keeps track of what you do on the Alexa app here. So at this point, you can just do exit out of the screen and you can just kill the, or turn off the Alexa app itself. At this point, the phone, the Alexa app, nothing's needed. It's programmed. It's connected up via Wi-Fi to your local Wi-Fi network and everything is coming across the internet at that point. So that's it for setting up an Amazon Dot.